Feel the feelings. Okay. So feeling the feelings. This is a. Uh, this is one of the most powerful techniques for releasing stuff. Uh, so the thing to do is, I would just sit down on a chair if you can have your spine straight. If um, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, but anyway, have your spine straight. If um, something arises, like try not to slouch, because when doing this technique, you may want to. It, it may seem like the ego may want to go to sleep, but don't uh, try not to let yourself go to sleep. Uh, and if you feel sleepy, you can also use the t technique on releasing tiredness as well. So you sit down and then you just, you just notice what, and now I'm going to use the word feeling or emotion or energy or vibrations are present. So you just check, like for example, you might sense that there's some tightness in the stomach or there might be some tiredness around the eyes or whatever it is. Just be aware of whatever feelings there are or emotions. And then, and then just w allow that to be here right now. And the thing is to do, while you allow these sensations, emotions, vibrations or feelings just to be fully present, you'll notice that there'll be a tendency to go into thinking. Mm. You know, like to make a story or to go off into what you need to do later on in the day or something. Now as you realise these thoughts come, detach from the thoughts and just be with the feeling. Yeah? And then, and then what you'll notice is again, you're with the, let's say there's some tension in the stomach, you're with the uh, tension in the stomach, and then you're off again in your head. You know, like you, you haven't done your shopping. You know. But as soon as you go into a thought, detach from that thought, back with the energy. And then you just be with the feeling, be with the emotion, be with the sensation, the tightness. And then, and then again you'll be off into your, and then again, you, what you're practicing doing is detaching from the thoughts as quickly as possible and getting back to just being with the energy of the emotion. So eventually you're trying to catch the thoughts quicker and quicker and return. Now in the beginning, uh, you may spend a lot of your time in your thinking and less time with the feeling. But what you're doing with practice is spending more of your time with the feeling and less time being distracted into thoughts. So realize that when you're in your thinking, you're resisting experiencing the feeling that makes sense because you could have been feeling but you're actually in your thoughts so you're just trying to cut off from your thoughts as quickly as possible with the feeling so the idea is eventually just to allow feelings to be fully present with feelings and it's almost like you're letting them all these repressed suppressed emotions you're letting them like a like a, a tight like a like trapped feelings that never got to be experienced you're now letting them come up and be fully felt and you're trying to just be with them until they dissolve into nothingness. Now what happens is as you feel these feelings, they start to dissolve and then a, another layer from a different place will come up. And then you're with that layer and you dissolve that and the next layer comes up. And every time you go into thought, detach from that thought and just be back. So you're emptying out all these uh, repressed and suppressed feelings and just letting them pass and just being with them. Okay, so what we're going to do... Yeah, so yep. Can I ask a quick question? Yep. Um, so when you felt a feeling, when you got distracted by a thought, when you come back to the body, should you go back to that same feeling, or is it like the predominant feeling? It, it'll be, actually, it is the predominant feeling that you yeah. with that all the time. Is that so generally the same one that you go back to, or do you think you, is it possible you might go back and something else feels predominant? Yeah, you, you, I, gen, as a general thing, I'd go to the predominant feeling, the loudest one, mm. Um, later on, if you're doing it for a specific purpose, you might be going back to a specific feeling. Yeah. Like, you know, if I had pain in my foot, I'd be trying yeah. to feel out the pain in my foot. Yeah. But actually, as a general practice, you're just being with the loudest one, dissolving that until that's gone, and then you feel the next one come up and you yeah. dissolve that. Sometimes you can feel two out at the same time, simultaneously. Because I, I don't know if what I'm feeling is the feeling I'm supposed to be feeling, but I feel like sometimes there's like a wave of heat just rushing up okay. to about so, here. So yeah. is that Yep, so, so you, feel, you feel that, yeah, that's a feeling. So you just feel the wave, yeah. and you just keep, keep being with the wave until that wave stops right. and it dissolves. And then the next yeah. thing, you just let the next thing come up. Okay, yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going to do uh, five minutes, five or mm. ten minutes of that, and then uh, we'll see how we're going on.